One year into our reconciliation, her aunt dies. I'm very busy with work and cannot attend the services as they were on a Thursday and Friday back in her hometown five hours away. Her parents and her brother no longer live there, so she stayed with a good friend from high school. I met this friend a few times and I was comfortable with that. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collection of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. Am I the a-hole for telling my ex-wife fiancé the truth about our divorce? I, 33 male, and my ex-wife, 30 female, and I have been divorced for three years ago. In college, we worked at the same restaurant, and that's where we met. We were together for seven years and married for a little over three and a half. We divorced because she cheated twice. What do I always say, guys? Repeat after me. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Two years into our marriage, I discovered she was having an affair with a former classmate. I collected enough evidence and confronted her. She confesses everything. The affair was about two months long. Okay, let me stop there. In my not so humble opinion, the only thing he could have done better was not to confront her. I know, hear me out. He should have taken that evidence to a lawyer. Then, when it comes to family law, you want the most vicious female attorney you can get, since they know all about a woman's bullcrap and won't fall for it. Then, follow her advice with military precision and let the confrontation be, you have been served. And oh, by the way, honey, the locks have been changed, the credit cards have been canceled, and your stuff is on the curb. But hey, that's just me. This was a terrible time, and it was really hard to work through with her. You can call me an idiot, okay, idiot, but I am a forgiving person. I do believe in second chances and that people can change. We agreed to reconcile. We did the work. We had marriage counseling. We read some books and she made no contact with any classmates right away. Open phone policy. She told our parents she was doing the right things and our relationship was recovering. I get we all want to believe people can change in some cases. They can. However, someone who cheats two years into a marriage, dude, that was a no-brainer, and you were a fool. Oh, by the way, slap to the back of the head. One year into our reconciliation, her aunt dies. I'm very busy with work and cannot attend the services, as they are on a Thursday and Friday back in her hometown. Anyway, her parents and brothers no longer live there, so she stayed with a good friend from high school. I've met this friend a few times and I was comfortable with that. On Saturday morning, my wife texts me that the car was loaded and she was about to start making the drive home. About an hour after that, I got a Facebook message from a friend who stated she wouldn't be able to live with herself if she just let this go, but informed me 
that my wife had gone out Friday night with some old friends from high school. The friend thought nothing of this until she discovered that my wife had left her phone behind and that she didn't come back until the following morning. I had gotten a text Friday night from my wife that says she was going to bed early since the past few days had been emotionally draining. Hmm, call me cynical. However, when a woman pulls the wouldn't be able to live with herself if she let it go card, three things could be at play. Option one, she's deliberately sabotaging your relationship as women have been known to do this to their so-called friends so she can take her shot at consoling you afterward. Option two, she's a psycho and misery loves company and the female equivalent of Some men just want to watch the world burn. Option three, she's a moral person and she means what she says. I confronted my wife as soon as she got home. She was really hesitant to tell me anything so I lied and told her that if we were going to get through this, I needed her to tell me everything like the last time. That got her to confess that she had gone out and had gone home with an old friend from high school. She said they didn't have S-word fun, but did do stuff. And she wouldn't go into detail about what. It didn't matter. Once I got enough of the truth, I left from my parents' house. Yes, might have gotten away with it too. It wasn't for these blasted kids and their dogs. Stop. Hold the phone. Guys, we have got to stop this leaving crap. He needed to tell her to get the F out for a few days. We need to stop being the ones who leave and make them do it. This goes for sleeping on the couch? Screw that. If she cheated, you take the master bedroom, put her ass on the couch or the guest bedroom. Just saying. That week, my dad called my landlord and paid all the termination fees and got me out of the lease. We went and got my stuff while she was at work. My parents set me up with a friend of theirs that was a divorce attorney and he cut me a deal. Took about seven months for the divorce to go final. Props to your dad. That's what fathers are for and that's what they're supposed to do. Oh, and if it was you who had cheated, then he needed to do the same thing then give you a slap to the back of the head for being a dumbass and cheating. That was three years ago. I have an awesome girlfriend and I'm doing well. This past weekend, I got a Facebook message from a guy who is now engaged to my ex-wife. He introduced himself and said he was probably just being crazy, but he wanted to know why we had gotten divorced. He said, he had broached the subject a few times and she always gets weird. She had told him we had divorced because we grew apart, but mostly she just deflects or is really, really vague. I told him the truth and offered evidence if he would like. He declined and thanked me for my time and story. A day later, I got a phone call from a local but unknown number. I answered, and it was my ex-wife. She is really upset and asking me why am I trying to ruin her future. I get her to calm down and talk. She says her fiancé has asked for some space and is trying to and is staying with his parents this week. That he is saying he needs to reevaluate their relationship. She wants to know why I told him all about their past and why I'm still punishing her. She tells me she's not that person anymore 
and has done all this work and has been in therapy. She deserves another chance and I'm being petty and hateful. There were a few generic insults thrown in as well. Okay, what's that saying about women in accountability? Um, uh, yeah, we all know it. If she had changed, then she would have told him the truth from day one and be accountable for her actions. People like that are always so quick to dismiss past bad behavior by saying, she's not that person anymore. And I've done all this work and have been in therapy. Yeah, well, apparently you haven't learned crap and are still making excuses for your life lessons and bad choices. I got a little pissed and told her if she really changed for the better, she would have been upfront with him about her and our past and own up to cheating in her prior marriage. And then gone about showing her fiance that she was ready to be a worthy partner to him, unlike she was with me. Instead, she tried to lie and hide the truth. And now it's blowing up in her face again. She said a few choice words and hung up. I haven't heard anything since. I told my girlfriend and she reassured me I handled it correctly. But I find myself feeling guilty. I still believe in second chances and that people can change. Slap to the back of the head. Really, dude? Don't feel guilty for that POS. She had it coming. Karma is a bitch. I know. I've dated her. You did nothing wrong. You told the truth. A brother, a smart one I might add, reached out to you and you gave him the facts with no malicious intent. You then offered proof to back up giving him the option to accept or decline. This, gentlemen, is how we men need to act as a pack. While I would have felt wrong lying to the guy, I wonder if I should have handled the whole thing differently or just not responded. If she's truly different and this is just a blip, I don't want to be the thing that prevents her from finding happiness, but also believe I'm not what's hurting her engagement. Am I the a-hole? Slap to the back of the head. Jeez. She is, she has not changed. Get this through your thick skull. She brought all this on herself and only she is responsible for her outcomes, not you. By the way, you are not the a-hole. She is. Repeatedly. In the comments below, give your thoughts and support of this brother. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out my memes, or please subscribe to my locals, Rumber, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, 
check out these other videos, give them a thumbs up, a comment, which helps me create more content for you to enjoy.